What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Stash ad time. Uh, I've got a few things to talk about because I haven't had a chance to do this. Uh, so, first thing we want to start with is, well, let's see. We're going to call this stash ad slash mail call, right? We'll do that because I got a couple things in the mail that aren't stash related. Uh, and then I got a pile of stuff that I, got, I picked up at the uh, PacCon show behind me. So, to start with, uh, I got a shop card in the mail. I've had this thing for a couple weeks now, but I haven't had a chance to really show you guys. So, this comes from Kevin. Kevin's Scale Modeling. There it is, right there. There we go. I got it in there. That's a cool shop card. New channel. So, go check him out. Give him a sub watch his stuff, give him some comments, tell him I sent you over there, um, linked in the description of the video. Now, uh, let's see, I got some stuff in the mail from overseas. Yeah, I, I bought some stuff from overseas. So this is, um, what is the na official name of this company? I, oh, so it's USCP, Ukrainian Scale Car Products. I think is what it is um anyway anyways i got some detail stuff uh resin printed 3d printed detail stuff so they have some really nice stuff um this is the alfa romeo julia sprint gta engine bay detail upset uh, it's not an upset at all because i did that joke on the podcast too Fell pretty flat. Anyway, um, it's not an upset because the stuff is really, really nice. Uh, you get a battery, you get a washer fluid bag, um, you get vacuum canister, ignition coil with wires, you get a distributor with wires, um, a little fuse panel. That's pretty nice stuff. So that's for the uh, the Tamiya um, Julia, and then. I got so these are the bonnet supports so if a lot of these are barths so I okay so this is for the Tamiya a barth kit that I got um and a lot of those are barths you see them with the with the engine cover straight up um and that's those are 3d printed supports for that so that's pretty rad um and then also for the Abarth is a Weber carburetor set, which is really cool. So you get to upgrade the carburetor with a nice detailed carburetor, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then for the Fiat 500F, that's the tamer version, right? Um, they offer these cool little inside the window rear window louvers. So I got those. So those are going to be cool. Those two cars are going to get built pretty soon. Uh, the Ju the Julia, maybe this winter, but I'm I'm kind of anxious to build those two Fiats. Um, and these are going to be nice, nice additions to those. So that's so that's that with the mail. Um, now this pile of stuff behind me. Um, so we went to PacCon last weekend, and I picked up some stuff, and I just realized that I gave Heather her. Okay, so. There was, <laughs> there was a machine and Krieger kit here that I gave to Heather, and it's in her office. And you know what? It's okay. It's not for my stash, so I'm not going to, I don't know, I'm not going to worry about it, right? This is a video about my stash. But Heather was gifted a really nice machine and Krieger kit also. Um, but these two kits were gifted to me. Um, so this is really cool. I've been very anxious to to try one of these um and i just never got around to get one and a very loyal uh watcher of the channel and somebody that's turning into a pretty good friend i'm not gonna i'm not gonna mention him by name um because he's very generous uh he knows who he is anyway um he brought a, a whole slew of these kits for me to choose from and he gifted you know two to me and, and I said I could grab one for Heather if she thought she'd like it and uh she was like 
okay, that's that's kind of neat. So she put it in the pile um, with her <laughs> with her Gundam that Paul Olson gave her like a year ago that we were supposed to build together that I just gave up on and I built mine. So anyway, so now she has a Gundam and a Machining Krieger kit if she ever chooses to do anything with them. Uh, but anyway, so this is what this is one of the kits that I got. Um, I know Car Guy Channel. What the heck is this thing? Um, I'm not going to go into the whole backstory of Machine and Krieger. Uh, it's easily you can get on the Google machine. You can you know punch in Machine and Krieger, and it will tell you the origins of all of this. But this is a pretty neat kit. It's like a military slash fantasy sci-fi slash stuff. Um, this has this has this robot in it right? It has this robot, or whatever it is in there, and it has the figure. So that's pretty cool. That's like really stretching out of my comfort zone. All in one shot. So that's fun. Um, we got that one, and then we got this one. This is cool. This is really cool. This is a Ammo Knights, MK44 Ammo Knights, Machine and Krieger 44 type, Smart gun equipment type robot battle. Wow, there's like a lot of stuff on here, but anyway, that's that one, which is pretty cool. And it does show you could like this one, you can paint up a couple of different ways, right? So that's that looks like a lot of fun. This one, this one looks like a lot of fun. Um, and then, um, I was hanging out, talking to my buddy Mike. Uh, he was there selling some stuff. Uh, Mike's Mods and Customs, go check out his channel. And I bought these car, I bought these cars from him, right? So earlier in the day, I bought a MPC Warlock. That's cool, been wanting one of those. And you know, you know I'm a drag racing fan, so I've gotta have the uh, George Montgomery's Multi Maverick. I had to have that. And he was nice enough to specifically bring enough of these kits for me to have these two. So thanks, Mike. You rock. Uh, but anyway, so I got those. And then I was walking around the show a little bit later on. And I'm like, I don't, you know, well, I had fun with my Gundam. So um, I went out. And I know Mike had a, a stack of Gundams on the table. So I looked at what he had. And there was some fo Gundam folks, right, that were standing there. And I was like, okay, what, what do you guys recommend? And they recommended this. So I grabbed that. This is a supposedly a new, um, a new, the newest one? I don't know. But it looks like fun. So we're going to put that in the stash too. And then last but not least... This amazing Hasegawa Repsol Lancia Super Delta 1993 Rally Car. I got this for a smoking deal. Uh, couldn't resist. And it was the only rally car that I saw there. So I snagged it up. So that's what we got. So that's, uh, that's what we got. Anyway, um, so thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, now that I'm past the show, I got to get ready. I got two, three weeks um, before the Classic Plastic Show. Luckily, I'm not specifically. I, I wanted to build a couple of things for that show. Um, but man, things are so busy. Things get crazy and get busy. And I just don't have time to finish some of the things I wanted to finish for the show. That's okay. Um, this hobby's not about pressure. It's about having fun. So um, we, we'll get them. We'll get them done. Um, but now I've got to figure out what I'm bringing for that show. Um, and then I really want to get back to work on the Torino. So that's the goal. Um, get some stuff done on that Torino so I can show you guys some progress on that. Uh, so until then, thank you. I appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, commenting. It's all great. Um, Again, go check out Kevin's Scale Modeling. That's a cool car. That that was actually um, the banner on my Facebook group.
for one week when he posted that because that thing is killer. So go check him out and uh, check out everything else linked in the description of the video. And we'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.